What up fam, welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie video, we are making a Mediterranean diet friendly shrimp and grits. We are more, more, specific, more, more specifically, more, more specifically. Why is that word more specifically? Tell me the truth, you've ever said specifically though before. Never, so, no, yeah, no, yeah. never. Yes, you have. <laughs> More specifically, we're talking about polenta. Polenta is an amazing addition to your diet as long as you just keep it lower calorie and calorie conscious. And we're gonna do just that. We're gonna pair it with some amazing roasted vegetables and some spicy shrimp. Don't miss the recipe, check it out. First thing we're gonna do to prep our Mediterranean style shrimp and grits is we're going to prep the veggies and also the polenta at the same time. We're gonna make a creamy polenta, but we're gonna keep it dairy free. So I've got some water, also gonna add in some almond milk. So we're gonna do half and half. Half water, half milk. We're gonna fire this up, we'll sprinkle in a little bit of salt and then bring that to a boil, and then we're gonna add in our corn grits. But in the meantime, let's prep the veggies, keep it moving. So I've got some mushrooms here, cherry tomatoes, and then we're gonna just chop up some of our favorite vegetables. So I've got some zucchini here, some yellow squash, beautiful colors here. Next, some eggplant. I'm gonna chop this into one inch pieces as well. Chopping up some bell pepper. Just cut these into big chunks. And lastly, some onion. Got some vibrant, beautiful, look at that, purple onion here. And perfect timing, right when we're finishing up the onions. This is great about multitasking in the kitchen. Our water's come to a boil. This is all of the almond milk. <laughs> it's starting to froth up. In order to maximize the nutritional benefit of polenta, be sure that you're getting corn grits. Don't get the kind that's been overly processed. It's gonna to begin to thicken up really, really quickly. All right, now keep this part really simple. We're going to drizzle on, of course, some olive oil, sea salt, some black pepper. You can even add in some fresh garlic if you wanted to. That would be really dope here. And then your own medley of dried herbs. Now I'm gonna be using the Fit Cook Land seasoning. It's so much easier just to use this one. And get your hands dirty, mix everything together. Now let's roast this in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes at 420. Let's check on our polenta. Stir it up, you see it gets creamy super, super fast. Beautiful. Cover and cook it, so that way we don't let any more of the liquid evaporate. We just want everything just to get nice and creamy, so put that heat all the way down to low, and cook it on low for about five more minutes. Next, we're gonna prep our shrimp. We're gonna use my Fit Cook Creole, Southern Creole Cajun seasoning, and then don't forget a pinch of sea salt, a pinch of pepper, and I like to do this because it's seafood and it's super lean. A little dab, some olive oil, get our hands dirty, mix everything together. Next, you're gonna fire up a skillet, put it on medium high heat, in goes the shrimp. Now, make sure every piece of shrimp is touching the surface of the skillet. And once it's all nice and done, give them a good toss here in the skillet. Yeah, shake it up, shake it up. All right, so moving back to our grits. Beautiful. Didn't take that long to make at all, but we are gonna add some flavor to it. We're gonna add in a little bit of nutritional yeast, that pop of color with some turmeric, and also anti-inflammatory. Add a little bit of seasoning with some smoked paprika. If you want, we can add in some more of your dried herbs, so that way everything is complimentary in this dish. And then hit it with a splash of olive oil. Give this a good stir. And I've got some fresh herbs here, a little bit of Fresh thyme. Straight from the oven, we've got our roasted veggies ready to go. Holy smokes, what a meal. All right, Jesse, let's bring everything together for our beautiful Mediterranean shrimp and grits. Oh man, look how creamy and dense I think this is. Great serving right there. So for our plant lovers, we're gonna add a scoop of our roasted vegetables, place them right here on top. Oh my gosh. For our seafood lovers, add in some of our roasted vegetables along with some beautiful jumbo shrimp. All right, Jesse, the taste test. All right, Jesse, I'm gonna get some of this. Ooh, let me get a tomato on there too. A tomato, just like that burst of flavor. Heck yeah. Here we go. You're gonna be such a happy person if you make this for lunch. Mm. Guess you wanna try it? Yes. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think? No. Is well, it pretty good? <laughs> we just need to start over. No. <laughs> Throw uh, the whole meal away. We missed some special ingredient <laughs> or something. No. Bro, this shrimp is fire. It is so good, man. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> yeah. You like that? And I like saying polenta in that grits because it makes you feel classy as a, you know, as a southerner. <laughs> you know, I had some polenta. He's not those Waffle House guys. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing against Waffle House. I will be in Waffle House on a Sunday morning Come if you on. let me. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's a win in my book. Is it a win for you, Jesse? It's a win. All right, starting off 2021 with some wins. We love the recipe. If you like stuff like this, and I invite you to smash that like button below, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to ring that bell so that way you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the kitchen. If you've made polenta before and you've got your own way of preparing it while still keeping it calorie conscious, I want you to post that in the comments because we're all reading, we're watching, and everyone's trying to do the same thing that you're doing, just trying to eat better and live happier. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, it's never ever boring. Ooh, bye y'all.